We want to know a lot more about survival. those experiments that will be carried out. First, let's listen in. Past 10 months as the backup mission pilot. Papa, thanks for being here today, although I can't imagine where else you'd want to be. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Sonia, for having me. Well, let's talk about Shooks a little bit. When was the first time you met, and what was that meeting like, and what was your impression of him? Oh, he's a fantastic guy. So we met a few years back. We are both fighter pilots right. and we are test pilots. So when we got selected for our own Gaganyan program, that's when we met. And uh, very few people know this. I am nine years older to him. Oh, really? Yes, I look younger. You right? do, you do. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not, not, hair still hasn't come out. Yeah, but that's when we met. And uh, Shooks has been a fantastic guy. In the last 10 months when we have been training here, it has been such a satisfying thing for me to be his wingman. Mm -hmm. Okay, as a fighter pilot, Lingo. Right. And he's got that drive and that focus in him on what he wants in life. Mm -hmm. Once he decides, like for example, to be the first Indian to go to the International Space Station, right. he puts that right. over there, focuses on it, puts his entire resources and his mind into it, removes all other obstacles and He's there right now. Well, it's and that's what he is. That's amazing and shows why he's in that pilot seat. Yeah. Tell me about the 10 months of training that you all went through. What was a point that stuck out to you? What was the overall experience like? The overall experience was, you know, I didn't know whether it was work. It was more like, you know, coming to one big picnic, you know, and imagine you're doing space training. Yeah. And in that, when you can actually make it really cool, at the same time professional, that has been our experience. It's been really marvelous training with Axiom, NASA, SpaceX, with the other countries, mm -hmm. and Peggy. You know, it's been fantastic. A legend. You get, yeah. to, you get to train with a legend. Now, yeah. I have seen you uh, do some of the training, but the food <laughs> training, I think, maybe was one of your favorites? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you can't, <laughs> the army marches on its stomach, right? <laughs> yeah, and we astronauts also fly to space on our stomach only, yeah. The food was the fantastic part, and... We went for this uh, Knowles training, mm -hmm. National Outdoor Leadership School in Where Baja. you really got to bond as a team. It was fantastic, you know, because we realized it's in such uh, situations when we are kayaking and in the weather was down and when the resources are low and the only thing we have to back up on is each other. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic to know each other really threadbare. And it was beautiful, you know, because these are those moments when you train as a team that we come to know not just the strong points, but the limitations. Right. Because when going to space or doing such kind of activity, the most important thing is to know your teammates' weak points so that you can be there to support, support them. Right. That time. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, Papa, for being here. Good luck to you. Good luck to India. Good luck to the entire ISRO agency. We're here now, finally. Good luck. No, no, definitely. Thank you for having me. And I want to, you know, on behalf of Axiom and all, give a big shout out to my prime minister, my chairman, my wife, Lena, and my daughter, <laughs> Nandini, and oh. my parents, and everyone back home. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, and all my countrymen. Indeed. Jai Hind. In indeed. Thank you so much. Well, let's meet our next crew member. We'll take a closer look at Swavos Uznanski Wisniewski and the return to space flight, space flight for the nation of Poland. Swav is continuing and growing the partnership between Axiom Space and ESA. Uh, Shibu continues to be with us and that, you know, that coverage if we're looking at the entire world is looking at today at the end of the day. India once again is scripting history, isn't it, Shubhu, with uh, Shubhanshu Shukla in space. It's been a long, long wait since the year 1984, since we had Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma making history. Well, that was the year I was born. It's a very, very long time ago, Shubhu. Uh, for sure. I mean, uh, Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma launched into space in 1984. Yes. Uh, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla wasn't even born then. He, he, he was born in 1985, a year after right. that mission that happened. Mm -hmm. And then there has been a long uh, lull, about four decades of that uh, missing period where India has not sent any human to the space. Uh, after four decades, we are finally getting to uh, see an Indian riding a spacecraft uh, into the space station now. He's also the mission pilot, so he'll be, re he'll be responsible for supervisory, supervising the entire uh, Dragon spacecraft during the docking with the International Space Station. Uh, we were hearing just uh, Group Captain P. Balakrishnan Nair, uh, who is a backup crew uh, for the AX-4 mission. He's also an astronaut designate part of the Gaganyan mission for India. And he was he was telling about how, uh, how focused uh, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla is in his 
in his entire mission. For the last 10 months, they have been preparing together. Overall, they have been preparing for last two, three years uh, for the Gaganyan mission now. Uh, the first time it was announced was in 2018 when Prime Minister Narendra Modi first announced India's Gaganyan mission from Red Fort. Uh, 2019 is when these four astronauts are selected with Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla and Balakrishnan Nair. Uh, since then, they have been training in Russia. They have done their training in India. Uh, in 2000, uh, uh, about 10 months ago, they went to Axiom Space Facility in the US, in Florida, to begin their training for the AX-4 mission. Now, Subhanshu Shukla earlier, told, earlier did say that it was about a week ago, uh, it was about a week before he was supposed to go to AX-4 mission, that he was told that he has been selected to lead this mission. So, it, overall, it's very, very exciting for uh, Subhanshu Shukla, for India, and for the entire world, because this is going to be a very science-heavy uh, mission. About 60 experiments are being launched, which is the biggest package that Axiom Space has launched in the last three missions that it has conducted. Uh, we'll be looking forward to the science experiments that he'll do. We are also expecting him to conduct a couple of outreach events from the International Space Station, where he will uh, interact with students, uh, researchers and academia from India. Uh, we are also expecting that there is going to likely going to be a call between him and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, he very, very cheekily in one of our media interactions did say that there is a, a, a interaction with the very high, with the VIP uh, scheduled. He did not mention that it was Prime Minister Narendra Modi, but it's we are expecting it's going to be, it's going to be him because yes. we did see, see that during uh, Wing Commander there. Rakesh Sharma's mission. Uh, he had a scheduled phone call with then Prime Minister Indra, uh, Indra Gandhi, which has been historic in all aspects. Well, 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 we're expecting a repetition of that, aren't we? Given that it is being said that he's going to be interacting with the VIP. 